is to buy time for the first responders and people on the ground. We're not the magic cure-all for this. You have to have good security and layers. In addition to schools, Zero Eyes is now being used by hundreds of clients in more than 35 states, including local and federal governments, as well as tourist destinations like Chicago's Navy Pier. So obviously we're a big public space. We bring, you know, up to 9 million people a year. Brian Murphy is the chief operating officer of the Navy Pier. He's also a former chief in the Chicago Police Department. Navy Pier is massive. It's 50 acres and includes over 70 small businesses as well. But a human can't simply watch cameras as many as we have. We have 498 cameras on this space. Zero Eyes has been in place here for almost a year. It has not yet received a lethal detection, but the system has caught non-lethal detections that were flagged to Murphy's team for awareness. It was Memorial weekend. We had a lot of law enforcement here on the pier just helping us through the weekend. As one of the officers was preparing, taking out their weapon from the trunk, two different cameras within that space captured that image, drew that red box around it, immediately sent it to their operations center. They quickly determined that it looks like a Chicago police officer and sent it back to us as a non-lethal law enforcement detection. In another instance, there was an on-duty Coast Guard officer detected as a non-lethal threat. And another, when an off-duty officer was putting on his gun belt at night. I'd say so far this year, we've probably had 20 indications. Um, all of them have been either non-lethal or law enforcement, which is a good thing. But at least we know it's working. Right? It's not just sitting passive, it's telling us what it's spotting, and we're confirming that here on location.